hi there from Wuhuya Gardens. Happy Easter on this beautiful Sunday. I'll take you into the studio and I'll play, hey there, I'll play uh, a little excerpt, rough mix of a, uh, hi pumpkin, of a song on the new album, which is inspired by the garden. The song is called Fanciful. Divine, like the Garden of Eden or something like that. So, the wisteria is right by the studio door. So in we're gonna go. And this is my studio. And this is where I record all the vocals and some of the instruments, the ones that I play, I record here, like my pink paisley guitar. <laughs> this is not the one I play, but I could not resist but pick this up because how could you not have this? Um, so anyway, this is where I record my vocals, the guitar, any of the keyboard parts that I play. And then what I do is I take it over to Franz, who is my co-producer, and he records the other things that I'm not recording. And then we send the files to Ray, who is the bass player and the mixer, and then he puts his part in. And then he and I, Ray and I mix together. So if you have the first album, Dream Dance, you're familiar with Ray's playing and he's, phew, what he adds is just phenomenal. And I, I just feel so grateful to be able to have these wonderful collaborators on my music. So the song is about what it's like in the garden when you're in that, oh, that those in-between states, those childlike states of wonder and joy having tea with the fairies, for instance. I talk, I sing in the song about uh, the genius loci, which in the Greek is the spirit of place, like the intelligence of the place. And when you're in that state of mind in a garden, you know, where you are, you're so relaxed and you're just observant and in the now of the nature and the sounds and the smells and, and you see the hummingbird and you watch the other bird take a drink from the fountain and then you look at how the light plays off the leaves as the breeze is blowing. It's a song about those moments in life and, and about being fanciful in your own life, like a child in a way. And why not do that? Why not live with those joy of magic and wonderment? So that's what fanciful is about. And um, I thought I would play some excerpts because there's an interesting thing about fanciful and that is if you are on my email list, I also wrote about my Eventide H9, which is this incredible sounding effect that I've been using for both my guitar and my voice. And it has really great sounds, which is why I'm so excited by it, because you can do some cool things with it that you, know, you can only do with this effect. So in Fanciful, I decided I wanted to write this vocal horn part Reminiscent, I mean, what might far off in the distance was the um, the French horn in After the Gold Rush by Neil Young. It doesn't sound anything like that, but that was what I was like, oh, I want that kind of effect. So I laid down some vocals going through the H9 and also going through the SY1, that's this. SY1, which is this really cool pedal that also makes things sound like a synthesizer, kind of. Like, even if you're playing guitar, it'll sound like a synthesizer. So I'll, I thought I would play you some of the vocal horn parts, just as a sol the solo section, so you can kind of hear what they sound like, because it's cool. They don't sound like voices at all. It doesn't You're kind of like, what is that? And then I'll play you um, the full mix of this moment. So this is some of the vocal horn slash effect parts. So this is my vocal horn kind of Hear the breaths like I was using a 
different type of attack. So those are the, that's like just that, vo that solo, that vocal in that part. This song, um, now I'll just play a, a short excerpt. Now this is an MP3 of the unmixed total rough mix. So it's, I, I toyed with, well, should I really even play this? Cause it's like rough mix and it's an MP3, but I wanted to share it with you because we're having a garden day for Easter. So this is the third verse of Fanciful. Yeah, I think I'm going to play it all the way to the end because I mean, before I play it, one more thing that I want to explain about the music here. So I wrote most of this here and I brought it to Fran for him to add his piano. He's a really, really good pianist. And when I brought it to him, we added some percussion because I wanted to create what I call the orchestra of insects at the end of this song where you just kind of get overtaken. You know how that is when you're out and you're just, wow, listen to this orchestra of sound that nature, the symphony of nature, right? So we added some percussion there. I played a rake for like, wah, wah, like some frog sounds um, and then traditional percussion. And then I asked Fran, I said, I really want a piano part on here that's reminiscent of the impressionism of the early 1900s, WC, that beautiful pastoral dappled light kind of a feel. And he played this beautiful part. We, you know, I, I, we co-produced it together. Like, well, why don't you try this? Put the florists there. And it's so beautiful. So I think what I'll do is I'll just play it from that final verse into the instrumental where you have the piano that overtakes and the orchestra of insects. And again, this mix is not the final mix. This is literally rough. Like, okay, here are all your parts. Now you're going to send it to Ray and you guys start mixing. So that's my caveat. But here we go. So there you have Fanciful and the Orchestra of Insects, inspired by Wuhuya Gardens and Studios. So it's great. Oh, thank you. I love the hearts. It makes my heart open up even more. Anyway, I have so enjoyed being able to share this with you. Thank you for, for spending time with me on your Easter Sunday. And I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you're having a lovely spring. I love spring so much just great renewal. Thank you, Robert. Um, yeah, that song, I, 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 I almost wanted to play the whole song for you because it's just the whole way it develops. It starts very spare and just keeps building and building and building. But and I thought, you know, I, it's kind of, you have to experience the whole song really. Uh, but I thought that would be kind of lame sitting here for four minutes playing a rough mix of a song that's not even fully mixed yet. So anyway, 
Um, I have loved, loved, loved spending time with you and thank you for being here as always. I always look forward to your comments and your messages and your replies to my emails. You guys write some of the most incredible things. I got the one of the most amazing emails last week from someone who wrote and said he, he received my album that he ordered like a week prior and he wrote me and he said, I've been listening to your album every day, at least once, sometimes twice. And that was just like those kinds of emails literally make my day. So thank you for writing. And I just love communicating and being able to connect in this wonderful way via the internet across the globe. And um, if you aren't on my email list yet, PM me, I can tell you how to get on it. You get free music, you get weekly updates of stories from the studio, from the trenches, pictures, all this kind of cool stuff. And um, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. I think we've turned a corner on this thing and I think things are gonna be much better from here on out. So I send my love to you, happy day, take care and wonderful blessings.